Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing something really special. This video is sort of made possible by one of my friends. You guys have seen him a lot. Um, his name is Harvey. So uh, basically what happened was he wanted to get me a Christmas present and really and he really knows I love fingerboarding. And um, so uh, he asked me my like a, my, a color of choice and I chose orange. And uh, yeah, so I didn't I don't know what it was for, but then like he kept telling me that he was he got me a Christmas present, like he ordered it and stuff and so today he said he brought the present and um like he said it a few days before but like uh he forgot it at home so yeah. I um actually spotted him as a fingerboard because I gave him some like grip tape and stuff, so yeah. And, uh, he rides for my company now. I don't even have a company, but, yeah, whatever. He doesn't even fingerboard that much anymore, so, yeah, he just really wanted to get me this gift, and he kind of feels sorry for me, so, I don't know why, but he does, so, that's really, like, cool of him to get me this Christmas present, and I'm, like, overwhelmed with joy right now, so, what I've been writing, like, for the last month or something, it's like this P rep and like a lot of other thing boards. This thing is snapped by the way, I just super glued it back on. And um yeah, so thank you to Harvey for getting me this fingerboard. I couldn't have been happier with what he got me. And um yeah. So the thing that I'm really happy about is that it's a, it has like a different ply colour. So if if you see these boards here you can see the plies. But like it's all the same color veneer but like on this deck right now it has like um orange ply in the middle and like it has a orange bottom ply and yeah it's, so it's a five ply fingerboard like this one right here so this is like really old i could like go ahead and snap it right now if i wanted to but i'm gonna ride this on concrete and stuff because i don't think i'm gonna shred that down yet and yeah it takes a while to like shred these down as well so i've been using this for a long time like the razor tail is like so hot on this right now so if you guys knew, know this um if you've been keeping up with me i actually like retired this thing more because it snapped and i got like myself a santa cruz tech deck and i upgraded it and like i got myself another one and i used it for like a while and like you know you guys didn't even see me use it and stuff but um, i'm back to this now so yeah it's just it still works. I can do a few tricks on it. Like, I'm pretty crap right now because I haven't been this board in a long time. Like, as soon as I switch back to this, I use it on concrete. And look at the amount of razor tail, though. This board is, like, the worst board. So I'm, like, hoping for the best on the new one. So, yeah, this can go its own places. Alright. So what I got today is this. So he actually, like, brought it to me at school because, um... Like, I can't go to his house right now because it's Corona, <laughs> and, uh, he got me this, and, um, yeah, he just, like, passed it to me, and, like, in the middle of all these kids around us, and, like, all that, and then I was, like, so surprised because I didn't think that he would, like, get me a fingerboard. Well, I kind of did, because if you guys would remember, in one of my last videos, like, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but, like... We were messing around in his house, and then uh, he said he like put put the camera up to his mouth and he told a secret. Um, I actually watched the video and I saw that secret and he said he's getting me a fingerboard for Christmas. So that's one of the reasons that I kind of knew that he was getting me a fingerboard. But uh, I'm just like really, really joyful right now. So I gotta take the bubble wrap off. Oh, the sticker! Oh wait, no, I won't take the sticker out. I don't want you guys to see it yet, because I want it to be a surprise like it was for me. Okay, so that. I'm going to wrap this thing. Alrighty, so it's a 34mm fingerboard from, uh, Broken Knuckle Fingerboards. And, uh, okay, let's see. p rep line of fingerboards provides affordable, high-quality setups to all those who want to try the advanced features of wooden fingerboards. Tunable, tunable trucks and bearing wheels. Okay. 
Warning, choking hazards. Small parts recommended use for ages 13 plus. Well, I'm 10, so I don't think I can use this. Bubble wrap, like, I always love bubble wrap. Okay, let's put that aside. Visit us at brokenknucklefingerboards.com. Okay, if you guys, like, want a fingerboard or something, just go hit them up. I'm not sponsored by them. Okay. So this is, so their companies in Broken Knuckle Fingerboards Jobs Ferry, New York, and it's made in China, so, yeah, it's sort of like, uh, other companies, like, they would, it would be, like, in a country, but then, like, uh, or a state or something, and then they would order their fingerboards of their company from, like, China or, like, other cheap labor countries, so, yeah, here's a reveal. This is the deck. This is like so cool. This is like the kind of same feeling that I had with my um 32 millimeter oh god 32 millimeter blue fingerboard. This thing was like packed in just like this. This thing is 32 millimeters, so if I put it up against it, look how wide this is. Like this thing is a wide boy. There's like two million two millimeter difference. Wait, let me just actually put it on the edge. So two millimeter difference, which is like a lot. So fingerboards are actually getting very wide, like as the years go on. So that's what every fingerboarding YouTuber says, and I kind of agree with them. So yeah, I've got myself a nail file to like file down the edges and all that of the grip tape. If you're if you're thinking like I'm gonna file down the actual board, um, no. Okay. I think it's time to take the fingerboard out okay this is hard to reach Ooh. this is so nice look at that all right I'm gonna compare it put it right on top of this P rep look at that guys see how much is that coming out this is 34 millimeters and the grip tapes not even on yet Look at that. They have the logo burnt into the top. And their top ply is like really nice. And it's also really light compared to like tech decks and like so these are the two these are like the same ones. So yeah, they're put in the same mold so they look like this. And um yeah, so like the P rep shape is like they're not too round, not too boxy. So if you look at that, like it's um, like, not really send it off that much, it's like, that on an angle, that little bit, and I really like that. So it's like, five plies, is one ply here, two, two plies, and this middle ply, which is, um, orange, which is the color of the deck, like here, and this is like a normal ply here, and this is the orange ply, which is this ply. And, um, I think it's gonna take a long time to be able to go through all of that, well, like grinding and shredding and all that so yeah I think I, I might be set up for life here <laughs> I, I don't know if this is gonna like take forever like that long but um I think it's gonna take pretty long like I don't know a year or like five years if I can like use it for that long so yeah this fingerboard let's put that aside alright so this is everything else we have in here let's see so we have the broken knuckle trucks. Okay, so they haven't changed much from last year. So this is like broken knuckle trucks from last year compared to this year's ones. They are definitely newer. Because like I've grinded and stuff. And uh, one more thing. I'll go get it. So what happened with um, one of my broken knuckle trucks? I have to like complain about this or something. So um, I was riding it, and this is like one of the trucks, and this thing snapped off like where you put all the um, base plate axle and like the kingpin and everything. So like, it just, and it's also bent here if you can see that. So like everything snapped off and all that. So I think this year they might have improved that. I don't know, but uh, yeah. So let's see. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna come back when, um, I've gotten everything out of the packet, or I've looked through all of them, so, yeah, see ya.
Okay, so um, I'm I kind of got the edges straight now. So I just need to get the excess grip off. I think it's looking like pretty pretty good. Better than um most of the fingerboards that I've done. So yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna get like all of the little bits and pieces off. I remember like um on October twenty eighth day uh my blue P rep came. I remember just like getting back from school. I'm like I just go to check the letterbox and I'm like, it's not gonna be in there, but if I but if it is, I'm gonna be the luckiest kid in the world and then it was in there, so I guess I am the luckiest kid in the world. Okay. Yep. So that's the fingerboard grip tape done. Just get those holes ready. Alright, now time for the trucks, because I want to get the trucks, like, really tied on. There's still a lot of, like, excess grip on here. Who cares, I can, like, get rid of it later. Wow. That's actually really nice. Obviously has a lot, way, way more pop than this. Do you hear that? This is dull because like the tail has been like raised it on so which grip club is like better? I think this one's better, right? It looks better than this. Cause this is originally what it looked like like last time. Um the t uh, when I got it, like, I haven't changed up the grip tape since then, and, uh, yeah, alright, let's, let's just get into putting the trucks on, like, and then after that, I think we'll finish, oh, wait, yeah, I need to swap out the bushings, alright, let's just swap out the bushing real quick, let me just get this, so I'm swapping out the bushings is, like, easy but like not the easiest thing ever you know what I do here's a hack for you guys it's like once you get all the stuff out you see these like little metal rings you can use them as wheel spaces I actually just lost my wheel spacer at school today so uh yeah these are like good to have okay so let's put them in the Alright, let's just get the bushing, blue bushings out first. Alright, so I'm going to leave one in there, so... There we go. Now we can put the white bushings in. Okay. So that's one pair of trucks done. Now you can save these for, like wheel spaces like going here so you can save them now we just need to put the bushings on so um, do it like this so you see the narrow bit you put the narrow bit down onto the base plate just like that okay and then push down make sure the wide bit is like facing up to this so, put that on. Okay, if, another thing, if you're like putting these type of bushings on, you don't need like the metal things anymore. Because, this like con kind of controls itself, if you know what I mean. You probably don't, whatever. <laughs> Alright, let's just put it on. Because I want to like, get to riding this. Okay, 
let's see how that's a little bit too soft so I'm just gonna tighten it down a little more so that it's okay. it's perfectly in line with the kingpin yep that's good okay one truck down next truck alright so these trucks are like exactly like black river trucks but they're cheaper and like they I like the chrome look I think the black river trucks also have the chrome look but I think like um these chrome trucks are really shiny for some reason and I like how it looks so oh and like when you start wearing them down they come out as a copper color which I kind of like as well it's because like um black river also makes a I think a gold version of like these trucks right now so these are like the black river signature trucks and I really like the way these look so yeah I'm gonna keep them running so you see these like spaces what I do is I use the small ones in the front the big ones in the back so yeah these are spare bear, uh, bushings I can put that aside okay again we need to put the narrow side down and then get your get your truck put it on top so it's kind of like a sandwich like you wouldn't like put the bread in between and like all the stuffing outside wouldn't you so exactly just like this but I know that y most of you guys aren't that dumb to put like the bushings outside of the hex nut so yeah okay so um, it I don't know if it comes with extra hardware, but um, I think I've bought enough Tech Deck six packs so that I have like uh, enough hardware. Okay, so these are the trucks. All right, let me just put those on. Wait, actually, I won't. I'll save that to when we're putting the wheels on. Let's put the wheels on after we get the trucks on the deck. So, I'll just does like grip tape on here. The perfect texture of this mount, mount uh, monster truck is like to get all of the like grip tape particles off. <coughs> okay, let's just put everything out. All right, so this is all the hardware we're gonna be working with. So yeah, first screw, putting it in. Okay. Okay, so it fits really good. Alright. Now I'm just going to screw it in. And you're not going to screw it in all the way. Um, get your next screw. Put it in the hole that's diagonal from the first one you just put in. Now tighten that. Check if it stays tight, tight, just a little more. And then do the same with the back. So you have to put your hardware. These are like not as black as the Tech Deck ones, I just realized. Okay, so you need to put it here, through here. Let's see if it, the counter sinks work. Yeah, they do. Okay, now let's push it back out a tiny bit. Now we need to get the trucks, put it on. Make sure you don't like put the trucks on backwards, so just be careful, be aware of that. Because I don't like like the way it looks with the trucks on backwards. But that's how it goes on on like some cruiser boards and most long boards. So if you have like a long board, free, free, feel free to do that. Okay. Of the screw. You can kind of see the screws after you. Well you can actually kind of see the grip tape holes after you put the screws in. So I like the way it looks because it kind of blends in. Okay. Now we can like go onto the desk and like push and spin. You want to get it really tight. 
so that it goes through the trucks as um, the manual said. Make sure it goes through the trucks. Yep, it's coming through a little bit more. Yep. You gotta push down hard enough so that your tech deck thing like doesn't skip one and like it just makes that cl like click noise. Okay, so I see the screw coming out from the bottom, so I think some tighten the other one. You wanna make sure like one millimeter of it is at least showing so that you know your truck's tight enough so that it's not gonna fall off. Trucks are on. Let's do the ones on the back. Wow, these are like loose trucks. Okay. Let's push down. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so none of the screws are coming out onto the like out of the trucks yet, so I'm gonna stand up and like put put the force into there. Okay. So the screws are sort of coming out. Make sure there is no gap between the deck and the trucks. Okay, so there's a, there's a little bit of a gap here, so let's just push that in more. Okay, there we go. Yep, that's going in very far, so I just need to get this to go in that far. Okay, so the trucks are on tight. Alright, now we just need to put the rest of the screws on. So just like before, you put one on. And you screw it in a little bit, and then you do, you screw the other one, like on the other side. Okay, this is kind of confusing. You can just watch me look, watch me. So, put this one in, on here, the top. And push that in a little bit more. Okay. Okay, now you just need to get this one, and you just need to do the same, so don't screw it down all the way yet. So I'm going to work my way from the front to the back, so yeah, I'm just going to put this one in, just like that, and I'm going to tighten these ones in the front down first, and I'm going to go to the back, so, yeah. Okay. Here. Alright, so hopefully this one doesn't snap, because I'm going to cry if it does. Okay, now, force time. My hands are actually slipping from the residue of the front grip. Is it like it's supposed to be sticky? Like my hands like slipping from it. Oh. Alright, so um make sure the trucks are on tight. Cause you don't want them falling off, because that's like the worst feeling ever finding out that your trucks are like really loose and like 
you feel it on the grip tape while you're riding it. Like, when, while you're riding it and you hit a bump, you can feel it on the screws. But make sure that you can't feel it and the trucks are taking all the um, absorbance. So these are like real trucks now. The bushings are way better. Like, if you push it to one side, it goes, like, back up. Okay. These boards are, like, professional. So uh, I can do professional tricks like I couldn't on the tech deck because the grip was just so bad and like the board didn't have enough pop so I couldn't do a kickflip properly. Hopefully this like wait, let me just do it. The you just need to get the kickflip rotation right so it goes like that. Okay. Oh okay. You can stay down there. <laughs> Let's just keep going. I can turn it down anytime, so I'm just gonna do it. Okay, guys, so um, during that amount of time, um, my camera stopped recording and um, I didn't notice. So, during that amount of time, I put the wheels on and the board is actually complete. And it is like way better. It looks way better than like after I set this one up. But, uh, yeah, I don't know in terms of performance, but like, in terms of performance, like the back two wheels, they actually spin really good. Like on this board, like this only back one wheel, like when I had the bearing wheels on it, like, that was the only wheel that spun. But now I just swapped it to tech deck wheels because it spins better. So let's see, let's see which one goes for longer. Obviously this one, because like these are, so, the bearings are so good in this. You hear that? That holds for like four and a half seconds. Wait, let me count it. One, two, three. Okay, for three seconds. It's so smooth. Can you guys hear that? You can actually feel the wheels. Look at this. It's like so, it's so bumpy. Look at my hands. You see that, right? Okay, now go on to this. This is like so nice. Oh, I don't know what that was. But, uh, let's do front side one of these. Okay. The grip needs to wear down. So, uh, this grip is like really worn down. Look at this. But this, you can still slide on it, see? But this is like really worn down, so I need to wear it down. And by that, I mean like putting on tape and like taking it off. Putting on tape and taking it off. But, I don't know if I want to go through that process. But, but I guess I have to, so. Yeah, the thing is, I can't like go and have a session with it right now because I need to do homework. And I just gotta like do homework so that I can use this. But I don't know if I'm gonna use it on cement block because that's my only favorite obstacle that I use to, um, these days. I don't know if I'm going to shred this up on a cement block, but I'm going to get a few clips with this, so I'm just going to get that cement block. So it's like, it's like a curve. It's like my favorite obstacle so far. It's not like wax it up or anything, so. Yeah, I'm just probably going to use it for my new fingerboard as a manual pad. And like, board slides and tail slides and everything. I'm, I'm going to get down on this. This is so crap like this. Okay. Let's try manualing this. Okay, this is really smooth. Maybe I might try uh, no salt. Oh. As I told you guys, the grip is like really new, so like it hasn't got the worn down look yet. See how this is like flaking you apart and stuff? That's what you call worn down. But let me just go. I got like on on the nose, like nose manual. Oh, I think that counts, right? Okay, making sure I don't scratch my deck because I don't want it to be scratched. Okay, so uh, I guess this is the end of the video, and um, I hope you guys. Had a nice time watching me. I hope you guys don't fall asleep during like 
the whole setting up of this board. But uh, I wish I could do like an ASMR board setup. That'd be so cool. But um, huge thank you to Harvey again. I can't believe he actually got me this. This is like like a dream come true. I've I've always wanted like one or more fingerboards, and I've got two professional fingerboards. So that's like even better. So I'm like really really. I've got to adjust with all this story. <laughs> so um. Hope you guys had a nice day. Uh, hoping that watching my video made your day. And yeah, hope you guys loved it. And see you guys in the next video. And bye.